Let's go fly a kite up to the highest heights. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring. Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda. In case you didn't know, I'm Linda. Hi. Today, we will be having another tea, a brand new tea to us from our recently found manufacturer called Block Teas. Block Teas. Um, this, pardon me. This is number 22, the National Parks Department. We brew this at 195 for four to six minutes with one to two teaspoon per eight Oz. All right. So we will open it up and run a fingernail through their safety seal. This is one of their, and I'm gonna say it wrong, Atler bags? A teller bags? I, I, I don't know. I, today has been just a really bad day of not being able to say words. Oh, that smells really yummy. Um, kind of looks like sticks and twigs though, but let's put the glasses on so we can really see what it is. It still kind of looks like sticks and twigs. Um, so I'm just going to dump this in my hand. Uh, looks like there's juniper berries. All right, looks like there's juniper berries, uh, blue corn flowers. Um, some sticks <clears throat> um oh what is this i know what this is but i can't think of what it is is that juniper Ugh. um i don't know that might actually be juniper um and it's it's a black tea base um i don't know what I don't know. I wish I had my uh, my portable internet device with me. Um, but we're going to put two teaspoons because that wasn't really a whole teaspoon and, you know, I manhandled it. So I have a container that I will be moving this into after off camera. Um, all right. We turn our teapot on. Uh, actually, we have our tea, or our water is hot enough. Let's fill to about eight Oz, and we will close it. And, hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. If this is your first time here at the channel, hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it greatly. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. I appreciate that just as much, if not more. Um, if you don't know who I knew, if you don't know who I am, oh my, if you don't know who I am, my name is Linda Arnold. Um, I'm a mostly self-taught potter with a pretty big hot tea addiction. Uh, I'm on a quest as a potter to find, make, or buy the perfect teapot and then fill it with the perfect tea for the occasion. Um, I have always, well, here, step into the Wayback Machine with me and Mr. Peabody for a moment. Um, I haven't always been addicted to hot tea. Um, back in December of 1997, uh, the husband and I went to London for uh, 10 days, uh, there, give or take. Um, it was kind of an anniversary present uh, for us. You know, my mom, it was, well, it was 
Christmas, anniversary, birthday. It was a whole bunch of stuff all rolled into one. And my mom and dad uh, and then Richard's parents helped, you know, pay for some of the trip for us. Um, like I said, for birthdays, anniversaries, all that other fun stuff. Um, and because there was so much tea, you know, we'd, we'd stop and have breakfast every morning before we left out for our exploring for the day, you know, which was a nice, good, crusty breads with, you know, some really yummy butter. And uh, we'd have cups of tea. And it just kind of started and evolved from there. And over the last several years, um, okay, over the last decade or so, okay, after the last 20 years, we'll say, um, I've, I've started collecting teapots, um, started collecting teas, um, started drinking more teas, and it's just kind of evolved from there. Uh, and in the past year and a half since we started doing this, um, I won't say the tea addiction has gotten worse, but I've experienced so much more teas that I have a much more appreciation for it than what I did before. Um, and so I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the teas now a lot more than I used to. Um, and so that's the main takeaway from this really long, drawn-out, boring story that I will probably cut and leave on the floor. Ooh. Hey Siri, stop timer. All right. So let's give this a little mixy mix. And I'll pour your sample. Ooh, that looks like it's a lovely color. Let's see. Okay, so uh, these leaves have plumped up quite lovely. Um, they are cut leaves, uh, and they are cut kind of small, but it's not too small. It's, it's, it's a good cut. Um, there are lots of juniper berries in this. Um, don't eat them. Um, and it's, I really do think that the green is juniper itself. Uh, it looks like it has blue corn flowers as well. Uh, but the corn flowers have lost some of their color as they tend to do when you steep them. Um, but I can't, I can't tell what else is in here. Um, it kind of has a woodsy smell to it uh, in the picture. Uh, the color is not quite the yum yum color. It's a little bit light, but it still is a very beautiful color to it. Uh, it is perfectly clear. There is no particulate in it. it smells kind of woodsy in the cup, uh, but not overly so. That is quite interesting. Um, so it has a very mild taste to it. Um, it is, I'd probably say it tastes like a, a Ceylon black tea, but I could be wrong on that um, just because of all the other flavors that I'm getting. Um, it, it does taste a little woody, but not overly so. Um, and it's, I, I don't know how to describe what the taste is on the back side. Um, it's kind of juniper-like, but not. It's, it's, I'm intrigued. I was expecting a dark, thick, woody, kind of smoky, overly piney kind of taste. And this is not that at all. It's, it's really blended so much better than I could ever have expected. And it's not, it's, it's woody, but just barely. And it's, it's light. Um, I, I'm really enjoying it. 
and I'm a little bit dumbfounded by that. Not that I didn't think that I would. All the teas that I've had from Bullock at this point, I have really enjoyed. Um, I just, I don't know, you say national parks and I just, I don't know, I get, you know, wood and lapsing shushong stuck in my brain. And this is not that at all. It is smooth and blended very well and it's, it's light and scrumptious and it's good hot and I think it'd be even better iced. Um, it's, it, I really am speechless and kind of dumbfounded. Um, I really like it. I really like this tea. Well, I'll stop blathering like an idiot now and I'll let you move on with your day. So thank you for coming by and having a cup of tea with me today. I really do appreciate your time. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hey there, do you enjoy our content today? I really hope you did. If so, think about subscribing. That would really help me out. Thanks.